Today on Artvark, we're going to discuss subsonic ammo and primer problems that were solved. This brief tutorial is based on conversations I had with a key contributor with both MiWi primer reloading groups. We were discussing primer issues he was having with his subsonic ammo. He was experiencing both failure to fires and a little bit more troublesome hang fires. He had already tried the obvious recommendations, changing the gunpowder. He already tried changing his primer recipes, in other words, changing the spark donator from aluminum to other metals, such as titanium. But when I learned it was also occurring using commercial primers, he had me head scratching. I suggested he try tweaking his flash hole by placing a small chamfer on the primer side of the flash hole. I was hoping to make a more direct path for the flames to shoot through the flash hole and possibly ignite the powder that way. The failure to fires persisted. He did notice that it occurred every time he reduced his gunpowder charge to levels that settled below the flash hole. This was, of course, to achieve lower velocities, but he was also concerned with the power and accuracy once he got things working. Be careful, he warns us that low powder charges and failure to fire conditions, your likelihood of having a squib increases. The flame was obviously traveling along the surface of the powder and not through the powder as it normally does. He shares his solution as follows. Add two to three hundredths gram of cotton to each load. This will occupy any available space above the powder and prevent it from settling below the flash hole. The results were immediate and consistent. The rounds he was using were both the 223, 556, and the 300 blackout. His projectiles were lead heads. On the side, he pointed out that lead heads should always have gas checks installed and using them will dramatically improve accuracy. Next, he's going to try making some gun cotton, just for kicks. If you make your own gun cotton, make sure you rinse the material thoroughly. But the key to this was the use of plain old cotton, not tissue, not gauze, cotton. As far as he can tell, the cotton is 100% consumed and doesn't leave any debris in his weapon or the barrel. Thank you for sharing, Reno. His notes on bullet weights and powder charges are below this video. This is Mark on Aardvark Reloading. Dot com. If you have the financial means, donations on Patreon would be appreciated, but not required. Details below. If you already are a contributor, I really couldn't afford to publish or maintain this site on my own. Thank you. There are two MeWe groups to consider joining. Primary Reloading and Primary Reloading for Beginners. Hope to see you there.